So what do you do when you don't feel like cooking something healthy for dinner? You order pizza. That's it. Video's done. Kidding. Of course. <laughs> so you're not going to like the answer. When you don't feel like cooking something healthy for dinner, cook something healthy for dinner. Yeah, I know. Genius, isn't it? So it's counterintuitive. It's the thing we least feel like doing, but it's in the doing that we actually feel like it. It's like exercise. You know, very rarely do people feel like going out for a run. Normal people, that is. There's like running, you know, beans. That's just what they do. And it feels great for them right from the beginning to the end, but they're the exception to the rule. But for most of us, when we're experiencing resistance to anything, it's in doing that actual thing that we're feeling resistance to, of course, something that we know is really good for us, in the doing, it actually makes us feel like doing it, or at the very least, the very least, we're always grateful that we did it. So I rarely feel like getting out the door to do exercise. I just have a resistance thing around it, but every single time I do it, whether it's going for a walk or a hike or going to a hot yoga class, I always am grateful that I did it. So it's that thing with when you're cooking something that's healthy, there's nothing addictive to it. So it's not like you're not look. It's not like you're um, going to get this kind of drug-like rush. So you don't get the same reward as cooking something that's you know addictive. So it's that classic thing. You don't feel like doing it in the moment, but in doing it, you're always grateful for having done it. So here's some things to know um, to make it easier for those things to happen. So number one, understand that you can cook something super simple and healthy in far less time it takes you to go out and get something. And even in many cases, it takes you far less time to order it and have it delivered. And one of the things you want to do to make sure that happens is have the basic holistic pantry stocked in your cupboards. So have some, you know, beans and tins, you know, some legumes and tins, have some rice, you know, in the cupboard, have some greens in the fridge. And, you know, you have your spices, your coconut oil, your sea salt. You can cook up a meal in 20 to 30 minutes without a great deal of effort. So having a well-stocked fridge is going to encourage you to, at the very least, knowing that if you don't have those ingredients, it's much more like less likely that you're going to cook something. So having a basic pantry stocked in your kitchen, having some veggies in your fridge at all times means that even if you don't feel like it, you move past that feeling of, you know, I don't feel like doing it because you have the ingredients. Whereas if the cupboards are bare, your fridge is empty, it means it's much easier to go and get takeaway or get something ordered and delivered that in the end is not going to make you feel good. So if you start to think about cooking like exercise, it's something that you may not be crazy about in the moment, but you'll always be grateful for having made the effort. And you're not only going to feel grateful after you've eaten it because it's going to make your body feel better, it's the gift that keeps on giving because you're going to feel better when you go to sleep at night. You're going to be able to sleep better and you're going to be able to wake up feeling healthier and more refreshed in the morning for having eaten real food. You know what? I'm a chef. It's not hard for me to cook a meal. But there are times where I don't feel like cooking. So I get it. You know, I often feel this enormous amount of empathy for mothers or, or parents who actually cook food that their kids don't appreciate. And I think that's got to be really, really tough. But it's one of those things that life often rewards us for doing the very thing that we're feeling resistance to if it's something that's actually good for us. I feel, you know, a lot of resistance around paying your taxes, <laughs> a lot of resistance around doing exercise. There's probably many things that you might experience resistance, saying, I'm sorry when you've done the wrong thing. You know, um, having that talk where you have to discuss something that's sensitive, that you're afraid of hurting a person's feeling, but you know if you don't have that conversation, it's going to hurt them even more. It's kind of understanding that when we invest in doing those things we don't feel like in the moment, the things we know that are the best and truest and good for us, 
That's part of emotional intelligence. It's part of delayed gratification, and it is a common denominator. It is the common denominator in most people who have success on the planet. So don't feel like cooking something healthy for dinner. Do it anyway. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and like it. Subscribe to the channel and share it with people you care about that can benefit from this. And join our incredibly supportive Facebook group. And lastly, if you're looking to get sugar-free naturally, follow the links below and find out more about the Sweet Freedom Online program. Thank you.